Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to set up a Ethereum Classic Wallet using ClassicEtherWallet.com. I'll be showing you the initial process of setting that wallet up, how to create the files and passwords, and then I'll be showing you how to receive and send transactions on the Ethereum Classic Wallet platform. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm on the actual Mac today, um, but the process is very much the same for Windows or if you even if you're using a Lu Linux or Ubuntu. Uh, the process will be very much the same uh, because it's using a browser interface. So to get started, we open up Google Chrome. I don't recommend using Safari if you're on the Mac, uh, basically because you can end up running into problems when it comes to downloading the original wallet file. So it's best to use Chrome if you are on the Mac. If you're on a PC, you can just use uh, Firefox or Chrome also. So you open up your web browser and go to Google. Uh, the website that we're actually going to be using to get started is called Classic Efa Wallet. And the proper address is classicetherwallet.com. So you can see it's actually this part here. And um, we're going to open that up. Okay, so this site might look familiar to you. If you've used the Ethereum uh, My Ether Wallet, this is effectively a fork of that, but transferred over to the Ethereum Classic uh, network. So it's very similar to My Ether Wallet. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so opening up the page in a bigger window, you've got several tabs at the top, and the one that you want to start off with is Generate Wallet because obviously we're creating a brand new wallet for the first time. So we need to enter a password for the actual wallet. I would recommend you use a password with multiple characters, numbers, and even special characters, such as hash, question marks, or exclamation marks, for example. Um, this will actually be used to help secure your uh, wallet account. So you'll have two parts. You'll have a either a seed phrase or a wallet file, and then you'll also have your password, which is used for unlocking the account, so two parts to it. So I'm just going to enter a simple password, but I recommend you use something uh, more complicated. So I'm just going to use password 1234. Okay, so we enter our password, which is password 1234. Um, we need to make a note and actually save that also. And then we click on generate. So there's some information here and we need to save this uh, correctly. So what I'm going to do is just going to reduce the window size slightly and I'm going to open up a notepad so we can capture some of this information. So at the top I'm just going to write uh, etc wallet. It's so warm in the office today my wrists are actually sticking to the desk and it's affecting my typing. That's my excuse for typing. Anyway, uh, then we're going to have a private key and I'm also going to have a wallet. also. Oh, typing and spelling is awful today. Okay, let's go back to the actual browser. So we've entered our password at the top and now we actually need to download this keystore JSON file. So we're going to click on that and download it. So that's been downloaded and that will actually go into our downloads folder. I'll show you find out what I'm going to do is um, Copy it across just to the desktop. And close the downloads folder now. You've got an encrypted and unencrypted. I will use the encrypted version. Uh, you also have a private key as well. So I'm just going to select that and copy it. This private key you want to keep private. It uh, effectively becomes a recovery seed um, for restoring your um, Ethereum wallet should you lose your uh, key store file. So I'm going to save the private key also, and also it gives us our Ethereum Classic address. So we put this information all in one uh, file. Uh, I'll also go and create a new uh, folder, and we can put all this in just a single folder. Makes it a bit easier to work with. So the text pad, we're going to save it into the folder. Make sure you select the right one, ETC, Ethereum Classic. Uh, 
uh, when you're using Ethereum Classic or Ethereum Wallet, so make sure you always add whether it's an ETH or ETH Classic Wallet because um, if you don't make a note of it, it's very easy to get the two confused because they effectively they're identical. So we can, that's already in there. So I'm just going to copy the Ethereum Classic JSON file into the same folder. So that's that one. Okay, going back to the actual browser window now, let's focus on, on this part. So we've got our password, we've got our JSON key store file, and we've also got the private key, and we've just made a note of our address. So we've got everything backed up. We are ready to continue on. So we go back to the very top, and we've got send ETC and tokens. So we want to select that tab. And then it asks us for the option of uh, how to access our wallet. So we're going to use JSON or key store. Select the file. So it's on our desktop and it's in the folder that we just created. So the ETC demo wallet folder. And you can see we've got this UTC file here. So that's our wallet file. And we're going to select to open. It says it's encrypted. So then what we need to do is enter our password, which is the one that we created before. Uh, and just to show you on the text pad, it's this one, password1234. So we can copy that as well. And we're going to paste that in there. And now we can unlock our Ethereum Classic wallet. So this is effectively the main interface that you're going to use. So on the left hand side, we've got a little account icon. We've got our receiving address. So if you wanted to receive any Ethereum Classic to this account, you can give someone this address over here. You've got your balance and you've also got a list of tokens you can um, interact with as well. So if you wish to uh, send Ethereum Classic, I'm going to show you that now. Um, I'm actually going to log into uh, an, a different account because this one obviously has no funds in it. So let me log into one of my other accounts and I'll show you how to actually send a transaction. Okay, so now I've unlocked one of my Ethereum Classic wallets. So if we scroll down, we don't really need the top part anymore. So just to give you a run through, we've got the account information. You have like a little icon uh, which represents your account. You've got a Ethereum Classic address, your account balance, any tokens, um, that they're the main sort of um, sections. So I'll show you now how to actually send a Ethereum Classic transaction. So let's say you want to send me an Ethereum Classic tip. You go to my, one of my videos and it's uh, a shameless plug here. So, so sorry. Uh, go to description and then all the way down the bottom make sure you select ethereum classic the whole address so you get the address of the person that you wish to send to go back to the uh, classic key for wallet and we're going to paste the address into the address box we'll show you uh, an account icon also then the amount that you want to send so i'm going to send 0.0001 Okay, so you also have an advanced tab as well. In that, you can actually set the gas price, the gas limit, and also any extra data that you want to send along with the transaction. For most people, you can just kind of leave it as it is as default. So to actually send the transaction, you want to click on Generate Transaction button. And it's going to show you the raw transaction data and also the signed transaction. From this point, you actually have to press Send Transaction. And it just gives you like a pop-up box. You're about to send this amount of ether to this address, either cancel or yes, make the transaction. So we're going to make the transaction. Uh, down the bottom, you'll get a transaction reference. So this is the transaction number. You can also use a link to actually check your transaction on the network. So I'm just going to select that and just to show you how that looks. Unfortunately, the site is down. Let's try that again. Unfortunately, that particular Ethereum Classic Explorer is down, so we can't actually show the transaction there. But if you were sending a transaction, you could say to a friend, for example, you can give them this reference, they can check on the Blockchain Explorer, and then they'll be able to see the transaction for themselves. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching, learned something useful, and it's been informative. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please put those in the comments area below, and I'll be sure to get back to you and help out um, as much as I can. 
Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.